Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this pink and rose gold boutique Shopify website. This website is perfect for clothing, hair, beauty, and many other business types. And this website design is desktop and mobile responsive, so it looks perfect on mobile devices. In this tutorial, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics, such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First, you're going to open Shopify and go to online store, then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. And I'm going to be installing the original Dawn theme, and this is going to be the base for the website. Click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is going to look in full screen. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. I'm going to click on the header and under desktop logo position, I'm going to set this to top center. Right here, you can retitle the announcement bar text and you can also assign a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Click theme settings, then logo. Here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. And under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header and right here you can remove that effect. Click colors, then open color scheme one. And I'm gonna change this to a light pink color. I'm gonna change the solid button background to white and the solid button label to black. Then I'm gonna open typography and I'm gonna be changing the main font to the font Sheriff. Then I'm gonna change the secondary font to the font Amiri. When customers click catalog, this will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact us, this will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a Mart custom navigation bar, you're gonna open Shopify, then go to online store, then navigation and open your main menu. Here you can edit the current menu items and you can add new menu pages. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the header portion of the website. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed this main web banner section. To design the main web banner section, I'm gonna click on this image banner and I'm gonna remove the heading text. Then I'm gonna reduce the image overlay opacity to zero. This way our web banner will display fully opaque. Then you can retitle the button label if you would like and select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. All right, I've opened up Canva and I'm gonna click custom size and the dimensions I'm gonna be doing for the web banner are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm gonna be changing the background to a light pink color. Click elements, then upload a square shape. Then I'm gonna upload an image frame. Then I'm gonna duplicate this then when you click uploads, under upload files, you can upload your brand and product photos straight from your computer. Then you can just drag and drop those onto those frames. Under elements, I'm gonna search for a rose gold background. Then you can upload one of these onto the page. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. Then I'm gonna upload a text box and apply the font's authentic signature. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font to Alta. Then I'm gonna duplicate this text box. Once you're finished, this will be the main web banner for the website. I'm gonna download this page in a PNG format for the best quality. Then here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload that web banner design. Then I'm gonna remove the outline button style. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the main web banner for the website. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template in a downloadable format in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me putting together throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time. I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the featured product collection. Currently, there is already a default featured collection. Under heading, I'm going to retitle this section. I'm going to set the image ratio to portrait. Be sure to enable the view all button if your collection has more than four products. Then when you click select collection, it will allow you to choose which collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they are just categories that you can create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your shop organized. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured product collection. 
Next, I'm going to show you how I design the About Us section. Right here, I'm going to import an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. Then I'm going to set this to color scheme 3. Then you can retitle this section and insert your About Us section text. I'm going to remove the second button label, then retitle the first button label and select the link. Then you can click select image and insert a background image for this section. I'll be using this pink and rose gold background and you can find different background images here on Google. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the About Us section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the collection list. Right here, I'm going to import a collection list. Under heading, you can retitle this section, and you can also enable the view all button if you have more than three collections. Then when you click on a collection, it will allow you to choose each collection you'd like to feature. Once you're done, that's how I designed the collection list. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the displayed customer feedback section. For this section, I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4, and by the way, this won't be an embedded customer feedback section. I'll just be showing you how to manually display some of your top customer reviews. You can remove the button label, then I'm going to retitle this section. I'm going to set this to color scheme 5, then you're going to open color scheme 5, and I'm going to set the background to a pastel pink color. I'm going to change the text to black, and the solid button label to black. When you click on a column, under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then you can paste in the customer's review. I'll be using this text as an example, and I'd recommend putting the customer's name, and you can also insert a link leading straight to the product they left their review on. Then I'm going to enable the swipe on mobile. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to change the background to a slightly lighter shade of pink. Then I've searched for a rose gold circle element, and I'm going to upload one of these onto the page. Next, you're going to scroll down, and I'm going to upload a circle image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this page four times to represent those four columns. Then under upload files, once you've downloaded your customer's profile image from their review, you can just drag and drop that picture onto these frames. Then you can download each of these pages, then assign them to each of those designated reviews. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured customer feedback section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the email signup and the second web banner section. So right here, I'm going to import an email signup. Then I'm going to retitle this section. Right below that, I'm going to import an image banner. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. Then I'm going to remove the text. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. I'm going to change the background to a slightly darker shade of pink. Then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to copy and paste this rose gold bar element. I'm also going to upload a subtle faded element, and this will help to give the background a little more dimension. Upload a text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Beleza. I'm going to upload another text box, then apply the font Authentic Signature. Next, I'm going to upload a square shape, then I'm going to upload an image frame. And I'm going to be creating a Polaroid image effect. Next, you can drag and drop your brand pictures, and then I'm going to download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the email signup and the second web banner section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the featured blog post section. So right here, I'm going to import a multi-row. I'm going to remove this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. And these will represent your two displayed blog posts. You're going to apply the solid button style. Then when you click on a row, under heading, you can type in the title for that blog post. I'll be using this text as an example. And you can also write a mini description and a caption to match. Then you can retitle the button labels and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed those blog post covers. Here on Canva, I'm going to click custom size. And for the dimensions, I'm going to do 1080 by 1080 pixels. First, I'm going to change the background to a pink color. Then I'm going to upload another one of those rose gold backgrounds and I'm going to be creating a square outline. Then I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to duplicate this page. And next, you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Once you're finished, you can download each of these pages and upload them to represent those blog post covers. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured blog post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the Instagram post section. Right here, I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to retitle this section. Then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram page. Then when you click on a column, you can insert a title or the caption for the Instagram post you'll be featuring. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed those rose gold outline Instagram posts. Here on Canva, I'm going to click custom size. And again, I'm going to be doing 1080 by 1080 pixels. I'm going to upload another rose gold background. Then 
Then I'm gonna upload an image grid. Under upload files, you can download and upload each Instagram post that you'll be featuring. Then you can just drag and drop those images onto the image grids. Once you're finished, you can download each of these images, then upload them into each of those columns. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed that third web banner. Right here, I'm going to import an image banner. You can retitle this section and also retitle the button labels. Then you can upload your first image and your second image for this section. And once you're done, that's how I designed the third web banner section. And lastly, I'll be showing you how I designed the Let's Connect section. Right here, I'm going to be importing another image banner. And I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click Add Page. I'm going to upload another faded element. Then I'm going to upload a rose gold bar element. You're going to upload a text box, apply the font authentic signature, upload another text box, then apply the font brown sugar. On this page, you can display your business contact info and your social media handles. For an example, I'll be displaying the business phone number, contact email, business location, and social media handles. Be sure to display your social media username. And for this text box, I've applied the font to alt tab. Next, you can download this page and upload it into that image banner on Shopify. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the Let's Connect section. And here's the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format and you can easily install that Shopify theme file and to your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you. So all you'd have to do is just add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version version of Canva, so all you'll need is to set up a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included an installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.